Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. It's Monday morning, and uh, as usual on Monday mornings, what we do is a what sold over the weekend video. Now, overall, sales were kinda, yeah, uh, pretty slow as far as Friday, Saturday. Sunday was Easter, so I actually expected it to be slow on Sunday as well. And actually it picked up at night because in the afternoon I listed about eight or 10 items. As soon as I started listing, my phone started to chinging, so there has to be some correlation. Either that or just people were done with their Easter morning and got online later in the night, started buying some stuff. So the total wasn't as terrible as it was looking. Uh, on eBay, sold a total of 17 items, $421. Now again, that has shipping and tax and everything in that total, so there's probably about $300 worth of items, and the rest is shipping and tax in that total. So after cost of goods and everything else, I'm not making a ton of money on this stuff, probably netting a couple hundred bucks. I did have one Amazon sale and I'll show you that as well. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, coming up this week, I got a few extra things. Uh, KK's feeling a little bit better, so her and I will get a video out on Friday. She actually had her first big bulk purchase. Now, I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but uh, the basics of it is uh, a friend of my wife's, one of her coworkers is selling off a bunch of their Lego and pop figures. So KK is going to buy the Lego figures and I'm going to buy the pop figures and KK will sell those on eBay. So we'll go over some of that on Friday. We're going to have to do a video, probably her and I will film it on uh, my guess is Wednesday afternoon, take some pictures and uh, get some of those listings done. I'm working on another fun video. I think that one will come out tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to put that video out, have taken a bunch of pictures and stuff for that. So I'm going to have fun making that one and uh, then get back to my regular week. Now sales, sales everything over here, 17 items. It's all pretty small items. So again, it's gonna be a nice, quick, easy packing and shipping day. That part I like, there's not any big bulky things. I think this is the worst thing that I'm gonna have to ship and I'll show this first. And it's only going from here in Arizona over to California. So it's not gonna cost me too much. It's relatively light, but it is larger. So I'm gonna have to do a little custom Frankenboxing on this one. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV tray. See on the back? I think this one was from like the 1990s or early 2000s. I don't remember the date on it. Had it in my store for 30 bucks. Somebody contacted me, asked if I'd take 20. I only paid a few bucks for it. So uh, yeah, I went ahead and took the deal. 20 bucks plus shipping. I'm gonna go right down my list on the screen. It's the easiest thing for me to do. That way, uh, you know, I'm not jumping all over the place. Uh, next up, we got a Philadelphia Eagles license plate frame. Generally pick these up. I can find them for a buck or two, whether it be a garage sales, estate sales, anything like that. I'm not sure why anybody would want the Philadelphia Eagles. They're pretty terrible these days, uh, but this one sold for $15.99 with free shipping. All right, this box here, I already have them boxed up and ready to go. You'll see it in the pop-up over here. These are a bunch of signed hockey pucks, but they're all people that played for the Phoenix or Arizona Coyotes some point in their career. So a bunch of guys, no real big names. So I just went ahead and put it in one big bulk lot at you know just a few bucks per puck. There's 19 pucks in here. I did have it in my store for 60 bucks plus shipping and I sent on an offer yesterday for 48 plus shipping and they accepted. Generally pucks like that, I'm getting in big bulk lots. I sell off the better players and then I'm left with a bunch of guys that nobody really wants individually for good money. So it's best for me just to bulk bulk package them together like that and sell them off for just a few dollars a piece. Next, we got a bobblehead. Now, this guy played for the Suns briefly and then he got traded, I think a year or two ago, Kelly Aubre or Oubre Jr. I'm not sure exactly how he pronounces it. And this was from the Valley Boys series. Right there, Valley Boys. So they're dressed in basically like their street clothes, like they're walking into the game. Not sure if you can see, obviously you'll see in the pop-up better. This actually sells pretty good. They made three different players from that year of the Suns, all the Valley Boy series. I ended up getting a full price sale, $39.99 plus shipping. And generally I'm picking these up at thrift stores for just a few bucks a piece. First card sale I'm showing you from the weekend. We do have a few more that were at auction, but this was a fixed price auction. Buster Posey, three rookie cards. He's the catcher slash first baseman. Sometimes for the San Francisco Giants, a lot of three different rookie cards. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping part of the big haul that I got at the local auction. All right, I'm gonna cut in real quick here and just let you know, if you're new, you're watching this for the first time, you can really help me out by hitting that subscribe button down below. If you like continued content like this, reselling, thrifting, eBay, Amazon, all that type of stuff. I just hit 1500 subscribers. I'm hoping it stays there. I actually got up to 1501 over the weekend. It dropped down to 1499 by later in the night. And now we're back up at 1500 this morning. So crossing my fingers, hoping we're gonna stay there. Really excited to hit this mark. Thanks everybody that subscribed. 
I sold one of these a couple weeks ago, but I think it was the 1983 sticker book. This is 1984 Top Baseball sticker book. And these things are, are amazing. I love going through these. It just really reminds me of a kid buying the sticker packs, trying to fill in all the spaces on these books. I don't think I ever filled one in as a kid. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stickers in here. I could only imagine how much it would cost in sticker packs to actually fill this book up. This one was missing about 30 stickers and it's been in my store forever for like 10 or $12 plus shipping. I ran it as part of my 35% off sale. It finally sold. Ended up getting $6.49 plus shipping. Next, we just got a pack of playing cards, but these are vintage Quebec Nordiques playing cards, brand new and sealed. Found this at a Goodwill for 99 cents. I just knew it was a vintage pack, could get some okay money for it. And I think the total was 13 bucks with free shipping is what it sold for. The next item, I have zero cost of goods into this because my mother gave it to me. Uh, I don't know where she got it from, but she gave me this hat. It was brand new. Anaheim Angels or Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, however you want to say their name. This is a spring, spring training hat, so obviously it was produced here locally. Had it at my store for 12 bucks and uh, sent on an offer for $8 plus shipping and they accepted. Since it didn't cost me anything, I'm fine with eight bucks. This next sale, I have no idea who this guy is, never heard of him. Looked him up, did his IMDB search or his Wikipedia search to find out the information. But this is a signed photo of Gary Puckett. Now it's signed to Robert. But also on the back, there is a signed ticket stub and a signed cassette insert. And he was the lead singer of a band called The Union Gap. Yeah, I've never really heard of them, but this was in a bulk purchase that I this was in a bulk purchase that I had, so I went ahead and listed it. Hope somebody would eventually buy it. And they did. Now it was through my 35% off sale, and it's an oddball total. I think it's like $16.25 plus shipping, but still, for a guy that I've never heard of to get 16 bucks, I'm pretty happy. Next, we got a card game. This one's called Panic. Panic! Because it's got the exclamation point. I gotta say it right. Brand new and sealed. Never heard of this game, but I'm always picking these games up. These little card games when I can find them for like a dollar, maybe even two bucks. Brand new and sealed. Worst case is you bundle two or three of them together to get a decent price. This one here, there was only one other available on eBay and a couple sold. So I knew that it would eventually sell. And it's right about 20 bucks all in. I think it's $13.79 plus shipping. All right, here they come, a bunch of sports card sales. Not too many, only a few. And these were all through auction. And most of these did not do well or did not perform as well as I was hoping they would. First up, we got this stack of 1981 Topps football. There's actually some decent players in here. Four of the guys, there was like 10 or 15 each of those. So that was a big part of the entire lot. It only got two bids. It went for $5.50 plus shipping. I did start it at five bucks. I wasn't gonna start it at 99 cents, so yeah. Two bids, five fifty plus shipping. Another lot that got two bids is this. These are Panini Select soccer cards. Now I think there's eleven cards in this lot, but they're all a little bit better players. Not the big stars like Ronaldo and Messi, but good quality players. Got two bids, five dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. This next one performed a little bit better. This is a stack of rookie cards, football rookie cards, all from Donruss Optic, and they're these red and yellow parallels. No big name rookies, just a big bunch of them. Got a little more interest. We got $15.50, $10 more than those other lots. So $15.50 plus shipping. The next lot, this one's hockey cards. These are vintage hockey cards from the late 70s, some from the 80s. No big name guys, just a good quality lot of vintage cards. And it's actually going up to Canada, not shockingly. Sold for $8.50 plus shipping. Now, since it's going to Canada, I'm just going to use pirate ship, simple export rate. It's going to be easy shipping using that. This next lot was... Also an auction, but it sold like a week ago. It took them a little while to pay. It took them four or five days to finally pay for this lot. Bunch of 1980 Topps baseball cards, some decent players in here. And this was back when my uh, auction lots sold really well. So that day I had a lot of good bids. This last little batch, not so much. 47 cards in here and it went for $19 and change. I don't remember the exact amount. So a decent sale on this auction. Last two sales are both baseball items. This one here is a picture of Bobby Thompson, played for the uh, San Fran or New York Giants, I believe, uh, was where he was most known for. But it is personalized. This one's personalized to Ken. The guy that's buying it, I don't think his name is Ken. I did look, had it in my store for like 12 bucks. He asked if I do eight plus shipping and I went ahead. So yeah, eight bucks plus shipping. And I think I bought this for like $2. The last one is four autographed cards 
index cards of Hall of Fame baseball players. I don't remember the names. You'll see it in the pop-up here. I spread them out. And this was an item that I bought at a local sports auction. I've talked about it a lot, but we haven't had it in well over a year and a half with the pandemic last year and into this year, we haven't had the auction. So it's been at least a year and a half that these have been in my inventory. Finally sold, part of my 35% off sale, and it was a little bit over $30. I don't remember the exact amount, $30 and change again. You'll see it in the pop-up along with better images of the players that signed these. So that's it for eBay, 17 sales, 420 bucks. Gonna be a quick shipping day. One item for Amazon, it's gonna ship out pretty easy too. It's this Cranium game, but Cranium is a very heavy game. This game's got away four, five, six pounds, quite a bit. So you gotta prepare when you're sending these to try to use either a flat rate option or get into a cubic rate shipping. So I might use Pirate Ship. This box is about 11 by 11 by like three or three and a half inches. I usually have an 11 by 11 by four box that fits into cubic shipping rates. I'm out of them. There is a link down below. I should hit my link and go buy some. I need to do that. So this game sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Luckily, it's only, only going over to California. So it's going to be relatively cheap to ship this out. Probably cost me between nine and $11. It could be 11 bucks if it's going up to the Bay Area. That does cost a little bit more. All right, that's it for the sales. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I did pick up over the last couple of days. A few different finds I'm gonna talk about. This one's not really a big bowl. I think we all know to look for uh, TI calculators. This one here is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. Just tested it this morning. It works great. I'm gonna get it listed later today. Bought it for $6, and this one is gonna be a really good profit item. So again, always be on the lookout for the TI calculators, especially some of these, uh, higher end editions. Don't be afraid to pay up if you see them at garage sales for 10, 15, even 20 bucks for some of them. If you're gonna get 50 or 60 bucks, they're easy sells, just buy them. Next, these were actually in a hanging bag at a Goodwill. Somehow they got a big hanging bag and put these hockey pads in there. These are street hockey pads for a hockey goalie, the glove, the little blocker pad. Vintage Ed Belfour Chicago Blackhawks colors. So these are definitely from the late 90s, early 2000s. Paid $6.50 for them, and I'm guessing I'm going to get in that $30 to $40 range for this set. And then being a Lego fan, I thought this bag was awesome. Look, this is a little Duplo, Lego Duplo, little duffel carrying bag. They're not worth a whole lot. I looked it up. They sell for about $10. This was $2.98 at a thrift store. It did have some Duplos inside. That was just a little bonus, but I couldn't pass this thing up. I went ahead and got it. I'm going to list it in my store for 12 plus shipping and it will eventually sell at some point, but it was too cool to pass up. All right, here's another local thing here. This is the Arizona Cardinals and it's obviously a mirror. You can see things reflecting in there, but it's got a FedEx logo on here. It's got the NFL little hologram on the back. I can't find anything like this on eBay. I just did a search for Arizona Cardinals, FedEx, nothing comes up. I'm guessing that it was either like a item that was given to FedEx stores that was hung on the wall. I don't know, but it's really cool. You can see, you can hang it here. I paid just $2 for it. Don't really know what it's worth. I'm gonna put it in my booth for like 20 bucks. We'll see if someone will give me $20 for this in my antique booth. Another game I like to find and sell is Bullseye. So this is Bullseye Baseball. I think I've only found this one once before, but you got Bullseye Ball 2 and you got Bullseye Ball 1. And these are kind of like little ski ball games, except for you bounce the ball and it goes into the holes and you get scoring based on that. Generally, you'll find these games just like this with none of the little steel balls that you need to play the game. So I actually did go on eBay. I ordered two sets of 10. I think they cost about $8 for 10 of the balls. I think I had four that I used to test these. So these tested out, I've never had one not work. I've probably bought 20 of these through the years. I've never had one not work. Generally, you're picking these up for a couple bucks as well. And I'm gonna sell the three of these together and probably get about 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks a piece. I think the lot of three, I'm gonna throw there for 80 bucks plus shipping. It's not a crazy amount. There's another one called Bullseye Ball Platinum. That's one I've only found once. And I had sold that and these two together and got a hundred bucks for those. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna wait till the replacement balls come in and then I'll get the listing done on these and hopefully I'll get 80 bucks for them. The one thing to check on these though, if you do find them, look on the little bounce pad. A lot of times you get little tears and holes. I don't buy them when they're like that. 
just make sure that uh, this part is in good condition. And of course, check the battery compartments, no corrosion. All right, that's it for today. Again, make sure you watch the videos later this week. I got some good stuff coming up. You can check on how KK's doing on Friday. Wish her good luck on her selling path as uh, these Legos are gonna get listed and hopefully she'll get some sales. Just having the one sale so far over two weeks, it definitely hasn't excited her. So hopefully we can get some sales once we get those Legos listed and uh, she'll get a little more enthusiasm about it. All right, that's for today. Thanks everybody for watching. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.